Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome to Libra TV and thank you so much for being here. So today's video we will talk about the fight between Mohammed and Vincent Luque. This fight was a great fight, man. You know, these two guys, waterweight uh, contenders, you know, they were ranked number five and six uh, leading up to the fight. So uh, Luque was ranked number five and Mohammed was ranked number six. Uh, what a great fight, man. Five rounds and Mohammed have the heart. He had the heart of a champion, man. And Luke, Luke is a great fighter. He's a great fighter. I think he's a great striker. Uh, the fight, he he tried as much as he can to keep the fight standing. And Mohammed, you know, what a takedown. He took Luke down five times during the entire fight. He took it down. It's crazy. He took him down in every single round. Uh, Mohammed is such a great uh, wrestler. He's not that good of a striker because Luke was doing well during the striking aspect of the fight. Uh, single strike here, uh, Luke got 84 out of 184. Okay, and Mohammed got 60 out of 155. So that's showing you that. Uh, Vincent Luque is such a great fighter, he's such a great striker. And the takedown, the takedown, of course, Mohammed uh, took Luque down uh, five times during the entire fight. He attempted about 10, 10 takedowns, okay, attempt. And he took him down about five times. So, like, Luque did well in order to uh, progress in the fight. And, uh, you know, leading up to the fight, I think the first round was such a great, great fight, man. It was such a great fight. And uh, even though, like, Mohammed took Vincent Luque down in the first round, but I think the first round, I'll give it to Vincent Luque because he was playing the fight well, he was countering well. And the second round, second round was such, such a great round. Um, Luque was, you know, putting most of the pressure, he was pressuring. Uh, Mohammed. Mohammed was countering well, was jumping around, and you know he was doing well. You know, and Mohammed uh, took him down, as, as, as I said before. And third round, he did the same. You know, the same. You know, I think Luke should understand that he needs to attempt to, you know, try to take Mohammed down. But I think he doesn't have that confidence in taking Mohammed down. You know, so. The fight went all the way to the fifth round, and Mohammed really sh like I, I like the fifth round. The fifth round, Mohammed was the guy putting all the pressure. He was pressuring Luke. You know, I think a lot of people thought the fight was even going to the fifth round, but Mohammed uh, separated from Luke due to that pressure in that fifth round, and he took him down. So there's no way a Luke can win the fight uh, without uh, performing well in that fifth round, okay? So, uh, of course, obviously, conclusion, uh, Mohamed played the fight well. He wrestled Luke and he was aggressive uh, during the last uh, round, during the fifth round, and that what gave him the victory, okay? So, you know, ground, ground control, he controlled the ground about over six minutes. So it's a very huge, huge uh, team to have um, in the uh, in the fighting, right? Uh, ground control, he was controlling uh, where the fight has to go, you know. He was detecting where the fight should go. So that was, that was good from Mohammed. So he's definitely up there, okay? He's ranked number six now. I, I, for, for sure, most definitely, he will go up. He will surpass Vincent Luque. He might be in the first uh, five waterweight contenders right now. He might be the fifth or fourth, I'm not sure. But of course, he will go up in the ranking. So, what is next for Luque? What is next for Mohammed? You know, it's crazy. Uh, I think after the fight, he called out uh, Kobe, Kobe Covington. I think that's a great call out, you know? Calling out Kobe is good, okay? Um, like, this dude 
his record is 21 and 3. Okay? 21 and 3. That's a great record. He haven't lost a fight. His last seven fight was victories. So he has the right to call out Kobe Chaos Covington. And you guys know Covington and Hamza. They're going at each other. I think Cam Hamza wants to fight Kobe. So we don't really know how this stuff will play out, but I think Muhammad is up there. Or give you know, in a white, I know it doesn't make sense right now in order to challenge for the belt. Um, Usman is a guy with the belt. Uh, Usman will be fighting Leon Edwards soon. And if he get the victory, for sure, for sure, I think he might fight uh, Muhammad because he already fought Kobe twice and he beat Kobe. And Mohammed is for sure up there in order to fight for the belt. I think having five victories in a row is is good. Like his record is so good. Like three losses, that is good. Um, so he called out Kobe. I think Kobe. Uh, that's a great fight because Kobe lost to Usman. He lost to Usman. So like, what is there? You know, Hamza and Kobe will be a great fight for sure. I know a lot of people will like to watch it and it will generate a lot of numbers and Hamza is such a great, great uh, wrestler. Uh, the fight against Burns was a great fight. Oh my goodness, was a great fight. You know, people thought Hamza is such, uh, you know, like a bully in the, in, in the octagon, but you know, congratulations to Burns. Burns got the heart. He knocked down Hamza a few times during the fight. And now, everybody now know that Hamza is not invisible. You know, like, I know he haven't lost in his career. Like, he, he got 11 wins now. So, and I think about four fights in the UFC. I think Hamza, you know, fighting Kobe is not a bad idea. But I think Bala Muhammad is there too, you know, to compensate for the belt. You know, I think if that happened, that would be great, okay? But we got so many guys he can fight. Um, Burns is still there, still ranked number four. Um, I think a fight, the fight with Burns would be a great fight for sure. Uh, if he fight Burns, Burns such a good striker and he got that wrestling background. Uh, you guys saw that against uh, Hamza. Uh, he's such a good good fighter he's like such a good fighter i think burns and muhammad would, would be a bad, bad fight for sure but i think um we'll see how everything plays out but i think let's say if leon edwards pull out from the fight i think muhammad might step in or hamza might step in for the fight but you know, we, we, we don't know how this stuff will play out. I know UFC, they have their own agenda, they have their own plans, but I think Mohamed deserved to go for the belt. He deserved to go for the belt. Maybe not this year, probably sometime next year, if he keep on winning fights, okay? Let's see how everything plays out, man. But what a great fight, man. Mohamed got the victory, his seventh victory in a row. And I think, um, yeah, congratulations to him and congratulations to Vincent Luque for a great fight. So what's next for Vincent Luque? Vincent Luque for sure, he's going to drop down in rankings. He's going to drop down to sixth position probably. And he's still up there, he's still up there. But I don't think he has that caliber to fight anyone in the first five. To be honest, I don't think he has that caliber to fight Kobe Covington or Leon Edwards or Hamza or Burns. Those guys will definitely beat Vincent Luque. So, in order to um, contest for the belt, I think Vincent Luque, I know he got like four or five wins in a row uh, before losing this fight against uh, Mohammed. I think he has to, you know, uh, maybe fight someone in the first 10 or maybe get some two victories in a row or maybe a rematch with Balak Mohammed. That might be a that might be a good one for sure. So, what do you guys think? Uh, what's next for these two guys? Well, I think Mohamed should fight uh, Kobe. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how everything plays out. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the fight. And 
Make sure you subscribe to Libra TV and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.